at Hi, good evening if you are in the UK and good morning if you're in the US and Canada. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember all my geographies. I think people um, further east will probably be sleeping. <laughs> but hello if you're watching the recap. So today I am very excited to be talking about my brand new membership, the Class to Course Method. So <laughs> this is brand new to me. This is the first time I am launching a membership and I'm really, really excited to be doing something new that helps creatives and also has that extra community feel. And it's in an area that I feel that I have some expertise in. So I'm gonna talk about it a bit further now. So, um, the membership, I don't know if I've said this already, but it's for creatives wanting to earn money through teaching. So that's my speciality. I teach calligraphy through workshops and courses and workbooks and things like that. So I want to help other creatives to earn money doing a similar thing or the same thing. So I have created a method to walk you through what I have done as a creative that has earned me more money in my business, not just from starting teaching, but increasing my portfolio so that customers keep coming back and spending more money. Um, so there's a few reasons that I created the class to course method. The first reason is that Teaching is really scary if you do not have experience in this area. So I know of teachers who are scared to teach calligraphy workshops because they feel their art is not good enough. I know people who feel that their art is at a good enough position, but they've never taught anything before and they feel really nervous. It's really scary to put yourself out there as an expert, put yourself into a new situation, and yeah, it's just, it's just a scary experience. I remember how scared I was before I taught my first workshop. I literally like felt nauseous the entire day because the class was in like later in the afternoon and I just felt, oh, I've, I felt really bad <laughs> until I taught the workshop. And once I taught the workshop, I had this adrenaline rush from teaching. It just felt so good to teach. I knew it was what I wanted to do. And I remember thinking, oh, all that worrying for nothing. So I know it's scary. And I have created resources to help with the scary side. So I've created a resource about imposter syndrome. So that's what lots of us will feel. And that contributes to the reason why we feel scared before teaching. Um, so there's that element of imposter syndrome that I cover in one of the resources of my first module. And then I also talk about establishing authority as an expert in your field, because, you know, you don't need to be a millionaire business owner to be an expert in your field. There are lots of ways to establish yourself as someone who knows what they're doing in your creative field. So I talk about different ways to establish authority. Um, it could be things like making sure your pictures are consistent, like something as simple as that. It could be having a website. It could be uh, teaching. Teaching establishes authority. You know, you're putting yourself out there showing like sharing your knowledge, that is establishing authority in a different way. So I list out all these different things that can help you become more established as an authority in your field and start to build up that confidence that you know what you're doing and that you can do it. So yeah, this first kind of module is all around confidence really. And the third part of that module, which will be the first module, which will come out in October, is about worst case scenario planning. Because if you're like me, you will worry about things that can go wrong. <laughs> so this mod this uh, part of the module is about really thinking about, I'm worried this will go wrong. Okay, how do I plan for this thing going wrong? 
to really be proactive so that if on the chance something went wrong, you had a plan ready to act and that would remove some of the fear and therefore increases confidence when you're teaching. And, you know, it's not just the workshop, which is a big milestone. Um, it's also teaching courses. So courses often have a bigger price tag and it's really scary to put yourself out there selling a product that is worth a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money is relative, but for a lot of people, it can be a lot of money. So it feels scary to put a big price tag out on this course or a course that you create, hoping that it will sell. And guess what? Even if it's a high price tag, you can sell it. I have sold higher price tags. It can be done. I actually launched my calligraphy by Christmas course again, and I got my first sale this morning. The course isn't starting for a couple of months and I got a sale uh, this morning, which is amazing. And I got that um, like giddy feeling of making a sale. So I was super happy about that. Let me just see if anyone's joined. Uh, no one's joined yet, uh, which worries me. Hopefully I'm not on mute. Uh, let me just double check. Okay, I'm not on mute, that's good. Normally someone would tell me if I was on mute. Okay, so let me just look, because I've created a script today because I have loads to cover. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I've covered all that. So the second reason that I have created the membership is because it's complicated. It's complicated not only to organize your first workshop, whether it's in person or online, but also to organize courses whether you organize a live course or a passive course, there's, it gets increasingly complex the bigger the price tag. Excuse my voice. So, oh, let me just grab a water. Yeah, it gets increasingly complicated. So, for example, this uh, calligraphy by Christmas course that I'm restarting um, I have to, well, I created a lot of materials last year, so I'm replicating it. Um, so that's one of the benefits of the course, uh, the membership as well. But I had to design a workbook from scratch. I had to decide which materials I would be buying, source those materials, order them all in, make sure they're all good. Sometimes I had to order replacements when things went right. Um, I had to create a sales page on my website. I had to create all the social media content and I had to make sure that I sold tickets like a couple of weeks before the course actually went live, which meant that deadlines were tighter and it things can easily slip if you're not organized and you're not careful. So I have, or I will be creating a project plan so that when you're creating a live course of your own, you feel on top of things and you feel in control and it removes the element of stress associated with launching a live course because everything is under control. You have a timeline of when things needed to be done and yeah, it just removes stress. So for example, last year, because I called my course calligraphy by Christmas I thought oh it needs to be done before December so the course was launching like the first week of November which meant the products needed to be shipped out I think yeah the last week of October which meant I needed to sell all of my tickets like the third week of October which is actually really early for a Christmas product and then because I'd left it kind of last minute I had a bit of stress packing all the boxes and I couldn't take it in a more casual fun way and because I was actually dealing with them for hours like I got neck pain and it was just not as fun an experience as it could have been so I want to remove that element of stress for you and then if you're recording a passive course that adds complication as well so you need to think about where you're going to host your course, is it going to be um, videos, like pre-recorded videos where you record on a camera and you create 
your audio and then you stitch them together or on some editing software or are you going to pre-record something on something like Facebook Live and then you publish that somewhere. Um, there's a lot more to think about and I actually made a quite expensive mistake with my intermediate calligraphy course. So on Teachable they say your first course is free which it is unless it goes over a certain number of videos and I think the number of videos was kind of in the fine print. So I was going through the course, uploading, uploading, and it says you cannot do this unless you pay for the membership or the subscription, which is like £35 a month, which is quite a lot just to host videos. <laughs> um, so I want to remove those kind of elements for you. I don't want you to have any nasty surprises. I want you to feel in control and feel like, yeah, in control basically. And another element of this feeling of control with passive courses is pre-selling your courses because I got a couple of sales earlier on. I pre-sold my course, um, which motivated me to start, but actually I probably should have waited for more people to pay up front before I invested as much time in it as I did. I spent six months recording it. I mean, my course is too big anyway. I'll get into that on the course anyway. You want to start nice and simple. Um, but yeah, it took six months and it was only after I launched that I got the majority of my sales so far. So yes, pre-selling is important. So that's one reason why I created this class course method to help you think about these complexities that you may not have thought about because we don't want any nasty surprises. And yes, that's reason number two, I guess. The third reason, let me just check I haven't missed anything. Ah, so the third reason is that I have proven that this method works. So I launched my workshops and I enjoyed doing that. And I thought, okay, what's next? I will launch a live course. And I didn't know exactly what to expect from sales but I did not think of marketing to my previous clients because the the content of my live course has a big overlap with the content of my workshops. It's just spread out a bit more and a few projects added. So I thought surely workshop attendees wouldn't buy a similar thing again, but they did. A lot of people want extended experiences. So they can delve more into it and get more hands-on experience with the craft. So yeah, I had previous clients booking onto my live courses and not just with my first live course, um, it happened every time. There were always workshop attendees booking onto my live courses. So it's a great way to grow your profits um, and your revenue because you are yeah, essentially finding the initial clients and then just moving them on to the next thing. And that makes things so much easier than trying to find a completely new audience for your live course. And then, um, so I created an intermediate course, which is a passive course. And that again, gives people another progressive step um, of something to do. So yeah, I have done this method and I think it's working well. Um, let me let me just bring up my page. So for context, a workshop I charge £45 for, um, and that's for a two hour class, whereas a my live course costs £175. Um, so customers who were spending £45 with me previously were then spending <laughs> My math is not great. I think it's like 120, no, 220 pounds with me, um, which is obviously a big difference because it's not just they go for the smaller option or the bigger option, they go for both. And then when I added my intermediate course, it then extended again. So 
um, yeah, from the four to five pounds, it increased and just keeps increasing. Um, and it's actually a 566% increase on that initial spend if you add in these extra courses that previous customers can buy into. Um, that's my statistic, I'm very proud of it. So these are some of the reasons that I have decided to launch the membership. But what is the membership? <laughs> what does it involve? Obviously, I've been talking about uh, workshops and courses, but what does it actually involve? What is the method? So the method is created in three steps. Step one is to teach your first class. So that is a workshop and it will be in both an in-person format and an online work workshop format. So you get comfortable with both. Step two is to expand your workshop into a live course so that you are getting repeat customers from step one to then go on to step two. And then step three is refine the pipeline, which is my fancy way of saying, let's make things better. <laughs> let's polish up your processes. Let's um, expand our customer base. So thinking about things like mailing lists and expanding mailing lists. Um, but also thinking about the passive course side. Can you, like you could choose to change your live course format to a recorded version for customers who may want that option. You may choose to create a niche passive course so that customers who've learned the beginning of your um, craft or art can then learn that. There's lots of options that you can do. So yeah. I'll go further into depth for all of these. So step one, uh, teach a workshop. This is all about beating imposter syndrome, getting the confidence to finally teach if it's something you've been procrastinating on. And I teach both how to teach an in-person workshop and how to teach an online workshop. And the reason why I include both in the membership and why I will get you to do both even if it's scary, um, is because both give you experience that you might not get um, from the other. So for example, in-person feedback, you learn more about how to teach. I think you do learn more how to teach from teaching an in-person workshop. You pick up on things, you pick up on questions that people may ask, you may notice someone having a hard time and you, you know, you walk over and you can have a look and see what's going on and you become a better teacher from teaching in-person workshops, in my opinion. But online is very important too. It opens you up to a new audience. So when I teach my in-person workshops, they're locally, whereas when I teach online, that could be UK wide. And online is great to learn, not only because it opens up to a new audience, but it gets you comfortable in front of a camera, talking through your workshop in a different format because surprisingly I would say online is a bit scarier because you know when you're in person you can have a little bit more of that small talk before the workshop starts whereas online it can be really scary when you're just sat in the classroom waiting for people to join but we'll go through all of that um when I say it's scary I mean like we'll work through how to make it less scary because it's always going to feel a little bit nervous if you're a little on the shy side um because i'm on more on the shy side myself um but yeah we'll work through that to get you comfortable with both and learning how to teach a workshop online also helps for this live course element because that is going to be online as well so step two is expanding your content to a live course so that you can create repeat customers. So your workshop, obviously I teach calligraphy, you may teach another art form. After teaching your workshop, you have a curriculum already built and you need to have a think about how to expand that content so that previous customers who still want to learn with you are still getting extra value so I think the extra value my clients get from going from workshop to courses is the fact that they have additional support in the Facebook group. 
Um, it's spread over four weeks, which gives them more time to apply their learnings. And I actually set homework because I think people like that accountability, that, yeah, that level of accountability. And also um, I've often provided kits as well. So people get a physical, tangible product that feels very exciting to receive. And that's one reason why I think repeat customers move on to, yeah, my live courses. So we'll cover all that, including the logistics around teaching a course and what that would look like. So step three is refining the pipeline. So as I mentioned, it's it's about polishing up processes, it's about growing your audience, and it's also um, about creating a passive course to make things easier for yourself. The passive course is optional. Um, you may just want to do the live format but I will teach it for those that want to learn it. Okay, there are, hold on, before I get started on the next bit, let me see if anyone's welcome. Hey Dee, <laughs> sorry, I've been chatting to myself for a while, so I wasn't sure anyone had joined. So there are procedures for asking for collaboration in the creative community. So it's funny you mentioned that Dee, because you mentioned about collaborating in the community, one of the bonuses is about collaboration. So I'm just about to delve into the bonuses now. Oh, I've got another comment. Okay. So yes, the bonuses. Um, I think they're very valuable. Um, so the first is about being photo ready. So photos are so crucial when marketing your business. Obviously art is a very visual product and service. You need to have photos that look good to present your work. And um, I've noticed lots of creatives um, obviously love taking pictures, but the pictures are very um, mismatched. So we'll be talking about how to get photos more consistent, but also how to make them look just a bit more polished. You don't have to get a professional to take your photos, but it is important to get them so that they look more polished, so that people are more likely to take you seriously. And I'm also going to discuss about potentially having professional photos taken of yourself. So if you follow my business in any format, you've probably seen me sharing the professional looking pictures where I look really happy and a bit more put together <laughs> than I look in real life. And those are professional photos. Um, I actually had those photos taken as part of a skill swap. So I didn't pay for those photos um, in terms of cash, but I offered a photographer a spot on my course and we exchanged services. So those professional photos are so valuable. I share them as much as possible because I think I look nice in them and they look professional. So I'll be talking about in one of the bonuses. Um, another bonus you would receive is a profitability tracker. So I want you to be aware how much you're investing and how much you're earning so that you can not only celebrate success, but so that you can refine things if it needs be. I think a lot of creatives get very excited about buying new things and new courses, but you need to then earn that money back. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that, unless it's a hobby, but you want to be a business, that's why you're part of this group, you want to be earning that money back and then some and becoming profitable. So one of the bonuses is a profitability tracker. Um, one of the biggest and most valuable bonuses in this course is the made for you marketing bonus because it's all well and good me telling you to you know email your waitlist and promote post launch but you may not know what sort of content to create so the made for you marketing bonus makes it much simpler so that you can use some templates rather than starting everything from scratch a another particularly valuable bonus is how to create a creative kit. So the bonus teaches you how to repurpose the material made for your courses, specifically your live courses, to make additional money. So you would sell the kits separately. 
And then the last bonus, which I mentioned D, is how to collaborate. So it isn't necessarily related to teaching, but I think it's something a lot of you would like to learn more about. So I will cover that as well. So, okay, just seeing if there was any more comments. Okay. So that's what's covered in the membership. Um, as you could tell, there's a huge amount that's going to be covered. And I hope that excites you a lot rather than overwhelms you. But just so you're aware, the content will be drip fed. So you will not receive all of this content in one go unless you were to join much later in the membership. I actually expect most members to be part of the membership for around a year. So I plan to release a new module every month. And for some of the heftier modules, it will be split across maybe two months. Um, and this will give you a chance to work through the content and actually apply stuff because I don't want you to download my resources, fill them out and then not do anything with them. I want you to be held accountable um, in my community and I want you to apply these things so you can actually get teaching even if it's scary because once you've done it, it will get much easier, I promise. Um, yes, and it also, because it's spread over um, a longer period of time, it gives you a chance to get feedback on your current offerings and to refine things. And it means you would become more experienced as a teacher because there would be no point you launching a more detailed live course if you don't have experience teaching because I do think you learn a lot from teaching. Even if you've been doing calligraphy for, for years, you learn a lot of technicalities from teaching and from thinking about how things work for other people and how to make things easier to understand. Okay, so, um, so yes, each month there will be a video call as well, mainly so that we can discuss the content from the month, um, but it's also to ask any questions you may have around teaching. Um, obviously there's people in this group from around the world, which I absolutely love. Um, so if you're unable to make the call, it will be recorded and you can just watch it back at a later date and you can always post questions in the Facebook group because there will be a dedicated Facebook group for those teaching because there'll be an extra amount of um, support in that group. So uh, price wise, I hope you will be pleasantly supplied pleasantly surprised to learn that um, this is very reasonably priced. So it would usually be priced at £27 a month, but for 10 founding members, it's going to be priced at half price, so £13.50 a month. So even at full price, if you were to sell a single ticket, it pays for itself. Um, the membership is on a rolling basis and you can cancel at any time. Like there's not a commitment, you have to be a member for a year. Um, but that founding member rate is only um, sustained as long as you're a member. So if you cancel your membership, you would then have to go on to the full price membership. And a question I want to address, uh, a big question, and I don't want to be yelled at potentially in the community for underpricing. Um, so, the reason why I have price in this way, um, given that this sort of course with this level of value and this amount of content with a group element could easily be a thousand pounds. So some people might be like, Gemma, you're undervaluing yourself. Um, or they may think, well, why is it so cheap? Clearly it's a bit rubbish. <laughs> it is valuable, I promise. I. Um, I'm so excited to get into this. It's something I have spent the last year doing. I'm really excited. I worked out how to make teaching work for me. Um, but the reason why it's cheaper is because those a thousand pound group coaching courses, whilst they are incredibly valuable and I've made loads of friends on the course I took part in, they also price a lot of people out of getting support and the second reason is I don't expect to be, you know, earning £13.50 from a handful of members forever. 
I fully expect you to love this membership and for you to then go tell other people that you love this membership so that we continue to grow and the membership continues to grow. So although the initial price isn't a thousand, I hope that once the community grows, um, so will my revenue over time and hopefully that pays for the membership and the time I'll be spending on the membership and the people within it. So how do you sign up? I have put a link in, I think, the this live video post, so you should have a link there. If for some reason it isn't, I will post it separately. Um, the founding, so the founding member rate will finish after 10 people have signed up or on the 2nd of October, whichever comes first. So if you want that more affordable rate and you want to be locked in at that rate rather than going up to full price, definitely sign up in the next couple of weeks, otherwise you will miss out. And the membership will be starting in October. If you have any questions for me, um, please leave a comment on this video or drop me a message and I will happily answer any questions you have. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this membership, if you can't tell. Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear your questions. Have a look at the link. Um, I think you'll find that you will want to join. But if you have any hesitation or queries, just let me know and I'll be happy to help. So I will speak to you all later. And yeah, I'll keep posting in the group about teaching stuff for now it will go back next month to more general content so if you're not looking to teach don't worry this group isn't going to be permanently focused on teaching i will have the separate group dedicated to teaching and teaching resources so bye everyone i'll speak to you soon